Hey guys, uh, got my setup working. Hold on a second, this capacitor. I'm sitting there holding this capacitor and I just need to stick it in here. Don't have to, but that's where it goes. Um, okay, batteries are charging. I got this little, I got this idea that I don't have to wait for batteries to charge anymore. And it's a little, hold on, let me see. It's a little power supply, I believe it was from a cell phone. Um, five volts at one amp. I don't know if you'll be able to read that. Can't seem to focus this camera. I don't know why they did that. I can pre focus it and take a picture if anybody wants to see it later. Anyway, let's put it back in. Alright, uh, so that's just supplying us with power right now. Um, that way I can experiment longer. Uh, we got our first bulb here. Same, same brightness as it always is. Um, and the batteries can produce more than one amp easily. Uh, so I, I feel good working with this power supply. It just seems to work out perfect for what we need to uh, be at. But we have an LED with a resistor on it. We got our bulb over here. We got the fan running. We have 8.2 volts on the output. Um, before I, before uh, I made a video just before this and. I wanted to demonstrate the resonance going on with these caps. And I had this cap in there, and before, all three of them were resonating fine with this. I don't know what happened, but maybe the frequency drifted. Um, but with all three in there, we had more. We had more voltage than this. You know, it went down. So I took this one out, and as I was making the video, and it went up. So that's a good thing. Hey, uh, I'm not going to complain. I'll make all videos all night as long as it keeps doing stuff like that. Um, but to show again, that these two capacitors uh, are across the charging coil. I'll get to this in a sec. And uh, if we take them out, we lose it pretty good. And if we take this one out, we lose pretty good again. Um, and that's just on the charging coil, a secondary coil that is electrically not connected to any of this. Um, so, when this happens, we're getting extra. Extra, extra. And it doesn't affect. It, the input is not seeing changes because of the toroidal winding. It does not uh, absorb much from outside influence. Okay, this is another capacitor. That one is across the toroid winding. Um, there's 60 turns, two layers of this same wire, it's like 22 gauge from Radio Shack, uh, underneath this one. Here, pull it out a little bit. You can see the windings under there. Okay, and uh, I didn't even bother counting the wraps on the outside. My rule of thumb is to wrap it until the inside is covered and you're gonna have enough gaps on the outside because of the radius but uh, it's working good um, here's my other one it works good too this one works at higher frequency of resonance when I set up these resonance things this is giving me uh, higher frequency resonances that I have to find a frequency to pulse that kicks off those resonances and then we get gain on that effect um, this one resonates at a little bit lower frequency but the output is very very similar so if you're ever going to make one of these this one has three layers of one fifth of 150 turns of the same wire this is uh, the 26 gauge that comes from Radio Shack you get them both in the same package and then as many wires as it takes to cover the inside fully without overlapping them so the magnets will slide in nice and tight. Um, not tight, but you know, it's not going to chafe the wires and stuff like that. 
you get effect, good, good effect from both of them. And then the biasing magnets, they make a difference. If I just turn this, it makes a big difference. But there's some weird effects going on with those. You could flip this one that way and it goes bad. Put one up here that's in opposite direction. It goes good again. A lot to figure out with that, whether you're even uh, mess with it uh, before I figure out some other things. But working good. Second coil pickup is underneath the toroid. Uh, on the outside, I'm not getting good results. Um, so this capacitor is making this one resonate. The input. Okay. So without that, without these capacitors, if I was just pulsing this coil like I saw in any old circuit, and just expecting some transformer stuff to happen, well, wouldn't it be better to put in a couple of capacitors, like some of these guys are doing with these AC induction motors, and look what you're getting from the same amount of energy going in, just some pulses. Um, I made some nice little rails here, uh, going over from the main power supply and from the MOSFET, doubled up everything on that current, you know, uh, just a little bit, every little bit helps. Um, just got some one LED capacitors here, I can show the voltage here. Let's see, um, actually we could just show it here, it would be better. How about that? Fingers working. Uh, I'm not good with chopsticks, I can tell you that. I'm, I'm going to give it a shot right now. The chopstick effect. There it is. 4.9 volts. So, it's very, very similar to what the battery is. The batteries stay above 5 volts for a while. Um, so I'm happy with this little power supply. Um, now, before I run out of time, let's take this LED off the load. Our voltage went up. Our fan's going faster. The LED light's a little brighter. Now we're up to 10 volts. I guess it's a little... It's just light now. Oh. What happened? There we go. It's blowing some good wind. Um, I think a, a paper demonstration is in order. Um, ah, this it was actually sucking on the paper. All right. But now we're, I, I did a fan demonstration before, and now we're able to put a, a full 10.3 volts into the fan. And the green coil will do it too. I'm just experimenting with this one. I'm interested in getting a little bit higher frequencies going, especially some that you can't hear. <laughs> I, I swear I'm hearing this, this whine. Uh, everywhere I go, there's some kind of, I, I can hear frequency sweeps, it's driving me nuts. Uh, it's not that bad, but, uh, I do hear it here and there. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, I thought that was, uh, this is cool that it's advancing further and further, uh, getting better. Let's take the fan off and see what voltage we're getting. Maximum voltage, 16 volts, working just like a generator. Beautiful. And this is what I want. Uh, Alright guys, thanks.